Hello. Today I'd like to illustrate the scientific method, or at least a few aspects of the scientific method, uh, using food coloring and bleach. I'm going to start by adding some tap water to a beaker, actually to two beakers. And I'm going to add green food coloring to one drop to each of the beakers. One of these, one on my left, will act as a control. Mix them up. And I'm going to add <clears throat> one drop of household bleach. This is just normal household bleach. I haven't diluted it. Be very careful. Of course, it's a, it's a, a very strong oxidant. And I add the one drop and mix it up and see what happens. So we're making an observation. That's part of the scientific method, making observations. And I think you can see that the color is changing, and it's changed from green to blue. So we've made an observation, and now I'd like you to try and come up with a hypothesis, or maybe more than one hypothesis, possible reasons why this occurred. And you can pause the video, but I'm going to come up with two hypotheses. Uh, the first one, I'm going to say, um, the green dye is due to uh, a molecule that uh, absorbs other colors and transmits green color. Um, and uh, when you add the bleach, the bleach um, reacts with the green molecule the molecule that produces a green color, and changes it to a new molecule. It chemically changes it to a new molecule that uh, has a different absorption spectrum and transmits blue light instead of green light. So there's a chemical change in the molecule. So that's one hypothesis. A second hypothesis um, might be, let's imagine that the green color here is due to two compounds. One is a blue dye and one is a yellow dye. So one uh, molecule uh, transmits blue light, the other transmits yellow light. When you mix them together you get green. We know blue and yellow produce green. And when you add the bleach to this mixture of two kinds of molecules, two compounds, the bleach selectively reacts with the uh, yellow producing molecule and changes it so that it no longer absorbs light, so it's colorless in other words, and um, you're left with the blue color. So you destroy the yellow dye and you're left with just the, the blue color. So these are two competing hypotheses and I, I would think they're both testable. Your hypothesis has to be testable. You can't just say it works by magic or it's God's will or something like that. That's not a testable. Uh, that's a belief, not a, an explanation. So uh, uh, in a future, pot, uh, future video, I'll uh, discuss uh, and uh, do some experiments that might lead us to so that one of these hypotheses is correct. So thank you for your attention, and I'll see you next time.